welcome to my channel Sinead.Equestrian it's a new one um, I've decided to start this vlog because in current climate of lockdown I've had more time on my hands really and I've been watching a lot of equestrian vloggers on YouTube and I thought I would start my own so yeah I'm Sinead I'm from Newcastle I'm actually a mum of two sporting one behind me and um, the newest one is a little baby boy Charles Henry and I have a daughter Jolene she's three or four on Monday actually and she is pony mad so in my vlogs you probably see yeah a lot of her on her pony um baby and she has one called Cookie very lucky girl as two palominos I wish I had a palomino when I was younger but yeah I have quite a lot of horses also so you'll just see a bit of my day-to-day -day life with them so this is the newborn and the horse you can hear kicking there is actually mine um, Cindy is lame at the moment and she's so annoying in the stable hello this is... does anyone else's horse do this Hence the bar across the table, but she still finds a way. Stop! Stop! Attention seeking. Like, if you can see, she's actually ate the door where it's been open over the winter when she was in. She's actually turned out at the minute, but she's came in because she's lame again. Um, so I'm going to try a little. I don't know, kind of rest, but she does get frustrated in the stable, so sometimes I turn her out into the round pen. She doesn't really do much, she just chills around, which is good. What's that? What are you looking at? At least it stopped you pouring the ground. <laughs> oh, we're going to start again. So this is the round pen where I turn Cindy out whilst I muck her out. She normally does just stand and chill but today she has a little run around but after that she did settle down. It's just so I can muck her out and like I say if I did have her in full box rest she would get a bit upper height which isn't ideal either. Neither is kicking the gate but it's a habit she has. For those of you who don't know, my partner is a farrier and here he is checking Cindy over and taking her shoes off for the time being.
just going to take Cindy a feed now. Hello. There you go. She's had her shoes taken off for the time being. Take you now to see the arena. We've had this a few years now. It's been a great help to train the horses. We can do lots of jumping in there, which is what I enjoy most. So there's actually someone riding in there at the moment, so I'll show you them now. Field is my youngster. Look, oh, there he is. <laughs> this is his field. He actually is spoiled and has a field shelter. I'm going to introduce you to my youngster, Tiamo. He is five year old. I actually bred Tiamo. Um, I will put a photo of him up soon. He is a warm blood cross cob. He's about 15 free, 16 hands now. He is starting to mature a lot more now. Um, so yeah, this is him and his soulmate, which is Gracie the donkey. Hello. Gemma loves coming in to be honest. Always first at the gate. Can't move for him in the field if you're doing anything like poo picking.
He's very thirsty, so I'm just gonna hose him off in a second and pop him back out because I need to go to the shops as it's my daughter's birthday tomorrow and still unorganised horse mum. <laughs> Good boy. So today is Jolene's birthday, she's four. If you don't know, Jolene is my little girl. And today we're going to get her on her pony as I'll give Tiamo a day off today. Oh, and she's just fell out the wheelbarrow that she got for her birthday. <laughs> oh dear. Are we going to go riding today, Jolene? No. No. <laughs> so at the moment we're just mucking out with my little helper before we get baby in. Mucking out on our birthday. to get baby from the field. It's a bit windy today but good old little baby she's always good so we don't have to worry about weather conditions. Jolene's running ahead of me there. Oh she's at the gate that's good. What have you been up to? You appear to have took your neck off. On. We're winning. <laughs> We're winning. We're winning. We're winning. We're winning. For those of you who don't know, this saddle is called the Inky Dinky Saddle. It's made with children, small toddlers in mind because it's very supportive. It's got the support at the front and at the back and those are actually adjustable you can probably fit this on most horses it's just gave my daughter so much confidence it also has the handle at the front here which she does rely on a lot when she's in this saddle this saddle got my daughter cantering as well as this pony here she is a superstar so Jolene's opted for the inky dinky saddle today. I like to chop and change between a 
show a saddle and this one although you can show in this saddle I choose to put a English saddle on and yeah so she's opted for this saddle today it is windy so probably the best idea although little baby here she doesn't often spook in the wind or any time really so yeah we'll see how we go on today Jolene's in a bit of a whingy mood so we shall see just waiting for Jolene as she's disappeared baby's enjoying the grass though concentration is in the right frame of mind to go in the arena today <laughs> typical toddler so she also will not hold her weights today <laughs> my belly hurts oh mom. and her belly hurts well it really hurts mom. it must get better if we want to have birthday cake you think it'll be better for birthday cake? The dinosaur one will make me more better. Okay. That's good. That's good to know. The wind's dying down a bit now. It's a lovely day if it wasn't for that bit of wind. So yeah, this is the Inky Dinky saddle. Keeps her in a really good position. I don't know if you can see from there. She's very I secure. Oh, you can. <laughs> it's very secure. She's jumped in this saddle, panted in it. As soon as she and trot and trotted. And What's your favourite? Um, Cookie's my favourite, and Jenny and Baby. So you've got three favourites. But what's your favourite thing to do? Um, um, um. Um, <laughs> We've not counted on Jenny quite yet. Ponies. That's a big pony. <laughs> Can't run on baby's fun though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and Jenny and Cookie. Yeah, and Jenny and Cookie. And baby. And baby. And baby, mummy. And baby. What do you want to be with your pony? What do you want to do with your pony? What do you enjoy most? Um. <laughs> what does mummy um, enjoy? Eating. Oh, <laughs> eating. <laughs> I enjoy that, yes. <laughs> mummy likes jumping. Do you like jumping? Um. Um, no. I don't like jumping high bit. Only small bits at the moment, but didn't you get a rosette when you took baby to the arena event in at West Park? Yeah. Did you get a rosette? Because you jumped 16 fences, didn't you? We were very proud that day. We haven't. Okay, well, I'll take her down the road and then it's birthday tea time, so... That's enough horse time for me today because I've got to celebrate this one's fourth birthday as much as we can during Mama, lockdown. You don't want to come back to so, my party to have some everyone. Bye for now. Everyone.